I'm excited! In fact, I'm so pumped, I'd better do an exercise to unpump myself so I can tell you what happened. Will you do it with me? Cool! Take a deep breath and blow your cheeks up like a balloon! <gasps> and when you let it go, act like you're deflating a balloon! <sighs> that was fun! Let's do it again! Blow your cheeks up! And now deflate the balloon! <sighs> I feel more relaxed now. So you might have noticed me drum. Drum, 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 drum! We're having a recital at school next month with instruments! Everyone in my class knows I love drumming. And there it was, along with the other instruments we got to choose from. The most beautiful, loud-looking drum I'd ever seen in my whole life! I was in love! We drew numbers out of the hat to decide what place in line we would be to choose instruments. And I drew number... Two! Number two? I was bummed because that means someone else gets to pick their instrument first. That means someone else could pick the drum before I can. And do you know who got to go first? It was... Becca! I don't think Becca likes me very much. She can kind of be a meanie sometimes. I just sat there staring at the drum, dreaming of playing it in front of all those people. Becca started to walk toward the instruments, and I knew she wanted the drum. She knew that I wanted that drum too. What do you think happened? I'll tell you after our Bible story. It's time for our Bible story for today. It comes from Luke chapter six. Jesus taught people a lot of things, mostly things that God wanted everyone to do. But Jesus' teaching was very hard for a lot of people because the things that Jesus would say felt very opposite of what they wanted to do. Jesus knew that a lot of people knew about being good and following all the rules. But Jesus said they could do even better than what the rules told them to do. This way, they would not just live a good life, but a very good life. <laughs> they would live the way God wanted everyone to live. A good thing to do when someone loves you is to love them back. But Jesus said an even better thing to do would be love someone who doesn't love you at all. Someone like an enemy. An enemy is someone who we don't get along with. We don't want to play with them and they don't want to play with us. But Jesus taught everyone that we should love our enemies. It seems really opposite. But Jesus said being kind, even when someone isn't kind to us, is what God wants us to do. Loving that person, Jesus said, is very good because it teaches us more about how God loves us. It teaches us what real love actually is. It's really easy to love people who are always nice to us and share with us. But Jesus told people that they should love their enemies because our enemies help us learn to love. That was a cool Bible story. So you want to know what Becca did? She got closer and closer to the drum and my heart started pounding faster and faster. And then... Becca turned around and smiled at me and picked the tuba. I couldn't believe it. I know she wanted to pick the drum, but she didn't so that I could pick it. When it was my turn, I ran to the drum, and now here it is. But that Bible story made me think. What would I have done if I were in Becca's place and I got to choose first? Would I have picked the drum or something else? I never really got along with Becca, so it would have been very hard for me to let her have the drum. Very hard, but maybe very good. Like the Bible story said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to share the drum with Becca. For half the recital, I'll play it. And for half, I'll let her. Because that's what I would have wanted her to do if she had the drum and I didn't. Wow, making that choice feels not just good, but very good! Drum solo time! Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Remember, our enemies teach us how to love! Yay!